It's your boy DCMX here. We back with another video. Today we're watching Nukes Top 5. I'll see y'all later in the beginning of the video. See y'all boys. Guys, GCMX underscore gaming here. Oh man, we're doing a part two of this again. I know that first vid, that first video was perfect, perfect, perfect to return, bro. That was perfect, man. I gotta fix my camera. Okay, there we go, guys. Well, today we're gonna be talking. We're, we're gonna be watching the same video, top ten scary ghost videos to make you cry, part two of this video. So I want y'all to smash this like button, hit the bell, comment, everything, bro. Subscribe. Go do that. Well, anyways, today we're gonna be watching Nuke's top five video, and I'm so ready to um, get a little scared or something. Cause that's the reason why I have a blanket with me right now. Cause we're gonna be watching some scary shit right here, bro. Well, guys, anyways, um, I didn't make a scary reaction video like Saturday or Sunday because I think I was tired or something. I don't know. Like, but anyways, um. We're gonna start watching it in like three seconds, so give me a sec. Okay, now three, two, one. Let's get it, boys! Woo! Let's go, bro. Rattle and oh no. A music composer named Henning from Oslo, Norway says that for years he has heard strange, unexplained sounds coming from his attic. Over time, the strange activity has just gotten worse. So one day, Henning hears noise from his attic door and grabs his phone to record. Record what? Hello? What the fuck? See the sweater? Hello? He looks scared as shit right now. This shit is... What the hell? Yo, that door in home. Hello? Ooh, bro, what the fuck? Don't open Hello? it. Don't open the door. 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 No, Hello? no, no. Don't open it. Don't open it. Don't open it. Don't open it. What the fudge? There's nothing there. Oh, add, 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 add. I can see the ad. What the fuck? The door latch to Henning's attic shakes and rattles around as if someone is trying to open the door. But when Henning snatches the door open, there's no one there. And then the door suddenly slams shut on its own. Now there's very little extra info on this clip. So is it a real paranormal encounter? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Caught on camera. Uh oh. TikTok user Summer, who is a mother of two, lives. In okay, number five was so obvious. It's the door. Like whenever you open the door, there was nobody there. Like dead ass, there was like nobody there. And he just when he shut the door, I got scared, bro. That's where the freaking ad came. After ad. In a small house in an old town in rural Georgia. Late one night, Summer takes her phone out to record a quick video in her backyard. But she immediately notices something that is absolutely unnerving. Y'all, I am in my yard. Watch my face. What the? This is not an app doing this. This is my yard. The church is behind me. What the hell? Watch my face. Bro, that's strange, bro. You can see straight through me. I kid you not. Look at this. Whoa. On camera, Summer's face seems to twist and distort into something unrecognizable as she simply moves around in her own backyard. Summer bro, says that she's deeply night? worried that's that the strange enough. old church across the street might be the cause of the creepy occurrence. She attempts to find information about the history of the old church but she hits a dead end 
and is left with no answers. So did Summer catch a bizarre paranormal visual disturbance on camera? Or just what is going on here? I'm getting a little scared, bro. Bro, what the hell is that face? Bro, what the? Bro. The most haunted cemetery. Popular YouTuber Franco TV is known for exploring terrifying abandoned locations in the US. But for the first time ever, Franco travels south to the country of Peru to investigate the quote, most haunted cemetery in South America, the Presbitero Maestro Cemetery. The giant graveyard is well known by locals who claim that the place attracts witches who perform dark rituals with the bones of the deceased. As Frank explores, he finds signs of witchcraft everywhere. Tombs filled with burnt out candles, voodoo dolls, and bizarre notes. One of the tombs belongs to a world famous alleged witch, Gregoria Camacho, who died in 1897. Fans from all over the globe flock to her grave to carve their names and leave candles and offerings. And when Franco finds her crypt, something happens that he simply cannot explain. Oh, no, bro. A witch who was buried here. Now, apparently she did good and bad, but mostly dark stuff. So on the top bro, of her what tomb, is that? Like, spray painted what is that uh, Witch you? of Satan and stuff. But her tomb is actually kind of different from all the others because you can see a skull and bones, which kind of represents something very, very I don't dark. Know if that's, but I don't this even is actually her tomb that's right that's here. Her name right. is Georgiria Camacho or Georgia, Georgia, something like that. Torture names. And you can see how other witches would carve their names in here and leave candles and trinkets. That looks like a Siscamila. And if you look out here, you can see where they put all the candles. It's different from all the others because they put all these candles here and candies. Isn't that oh, Hello? That's some demon laugh, dude. That's some devil laugh. What the hell did I just hear? It sounded like somebody laughing. It's like the demonic. Laugh. Thing is, on the maps, this area is blocked off. So once you walk back here, there's nowhere else you can go. <laughs> listen, listen. Oh. Hello? Georgina? There's literally ain't, no one. Something ain't looking right here. here. Something ain't looking right oh, now. Okay, well, I got creeped out. Franco hears what can only be described as a sinister and mocking laugh coming from somewhere in the graveyard. And that's not the only strange event that Franco experiences that night. As he searches through open and abandoned cribs, he, alone? he captures That's the something part, bro. downright chilling. He's alone. Right in there. I don't know if those are the remains. It looks like a sock. There's something tied up. Here, let me zoom in. I'm going to be able to zoom in a lot more on post-editing, so... Oh my God, bro. Oh my it looks God, like it would be... There's something hairy there. It's creepy as hell. Huh, that looks like a dead animal. What or something. The? Oh, that is so creepy. All right, I just got the K2 meter. Alguien estás aquí adentro? ¿Te puedes decirme tu nombre? Oh, look at this. There's X's. You see that? On the side of the wall. Oh, that's interesting. That's something that's kind of seen in Mississippi. When you see X mark, it's like they have something they want you to do and they call upon the spirit to doing it did you hear it franco doesn't it. notice but a faint female voice can be heard whispering hola you see that i did not hear that i did not hear the that historic cemetery is also like the final scared, resting man. place for another well-known figure ricardo espiel a young boy who tragically died when he was only six years old. The boy Ricardo was said to be a benevolent and protective spirit. Visitors claim that the boy's ghost grants wishes and blessings to true believers. 
But when Franco inspects the young boy's gravestone, he captures something downright chilling. I don't know, bro. Now, I am making know, bro. my way towards another tomb of a child named Ricardo. Now, apparently Ricardo grants blessings and wishes to everyone who comes to him. Seeking help. He is a very well-known spirit that protects this graveyard. Well, one protects it and two also offers blessings to everyone who shows up here. I wanted to see if I can read what this says. Oh God, add, 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 Espalad sus amigos 8 de Augusto, December. What the? What the? Ricardo is very Mariano Huevo. Mariano Nuevo. Now, what's more interesting. Get out of here! Get out of here! Is that in the get back, out of here! You could see all the prayers from everyone and all the blessings. What's more interesting is that it even says gracias. Like pretty much thank you for making these blessings come true. Any blessing you want, it'll be blessed by Ricardo. A pale translucent arm seems to reach out from the young boy's grave. But again, Franco doesn't notice. It's only after he posts this video to YouTube that the arm is spotted by some very perceptive viewers. So is this indeed the most haunted cemetery in South America? Let me know what you think. You can watch Franco's entire three-part investigation over on his YouTube channel, Franco TV. The old clue. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, hell nah, bro. Oh my gosh, number three. Number three was so scary. Like, I was actually about to get jump scared, bro. I'm not even joking, bro. I was about to hop on my chair and freaking be like, oh my gosh, it's a ghost. <laughs> no, never mind. Let's start, man. Clune Park Estate. Over a hundred years ago, Clune Park, Scotland was a bustling community of shipyard workers and their families. Shockingly, the estate of 430 apartments, a primary school, and a church oh, is now completely abandoned after the shipyard jobs dried up and the workers all just moved away. Curious visitors are warned to stay away because, quote, dangerous things happen at the Clune Park Estate. No, it is said that many people have lost their lives on the property under suspicious circumstances. But the warnings don't stop ghost hunting teams scared to death zero as they venture out to explore the old abandoned apartments of Clune Park. At first, they don't experience much, just a few strange noises. You know, just dinging and beeping and... What the f... Already? Already? Is that the window there? Already, man. What the fuck is that? Yo. Oh no, bro. Oh no. Oh no, man. As time passes and the day's exploration turns to night, the team experiences something that oh, no. shocks them to their core. Oh. Hey, that one's open. Yo. Do you see movement then? Yeah. Move the light. I can't see it. Yo. Holy moly! Is that? Yo! It's all in that window, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, hell. You see that face? Uh-uh. 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 Don't go over it. Don't go over it. What the f***? What floor is that? Second floor, man. No, what's that noise, bro? It's a red light outside that, isn't it? Hello? Which one is it? Check this one. I can hear somebody. 
Again? Again? Someone or something can be seen at a window. Oh, the guys head inside oh, and up I'm the scared. stairs, Edward, but there's no, no one there. Just a few creepy noises. Whoever was at the window seems to have just disappeared. The ghost hunting team believes that they captured something paranormal. But let me know what you think. Yo. Yo. What is that? The monster. Oh my god. God, why is it getting so scary now? Like, I'm not... Oh my gosh, my number two really gave me a heartbeat. It really did give me a heartbeat when I saw that person, man. I was so scared. I was scared to death, bro. Oh my gosh, let's just get through it. This better be good. Number one better be good, bro. In the closet. You better, you better make it TikTok good. TikTok user Jennifer Lynn, her husband, and three children moved into a new home back in mid-March. Since then, Jennifer has been busy painting and renovating the house while she is home alone watching over her three-year-old son, Caleb. But lately, Caleb has started insisting that what he refers to as a quote, monster, monster. lives in one of their upstairs closets. Oh, Where's the monster? Right here. Now, Caleb sometimes refers to this quote, monster, as his friend or as her, and occasionally as him. But this is where things start to get oh, no. really strange. Because one day, Caleb claims that his quote, friend, is in the tunnel. Is your friend still here? Hmm? Is your friend still here? Why do you know in the tunnel? In the tunnel? Oh, no. What's she doing in the I tunnel? I said in the chair. You said your friend's in the tunnel? What color is your friend? Blue. She's blue. Yeah, he's blue. Today. This is a strange question. He's blue. Now, Mom Jennifer just dismisses it as a child's imagination, because obviously they don't have a tunnel in their home. But the more Jennifer ponders what little Caleb said, she remembers this. It's a small closet, or a storage space, or a crawl space, or something. But certainly something that a child could interpret as a quote, tunnel. But there's even more creepy stuff going on. Because one night, as Caleb keeps insisting that there is a monster in the closet upstairs, this happens. What do you mean this happens? Find a monster. Is it in there? Huh? Is the monster in there? Uh, nope. Where's the monster? In the room. What? What? It's in Caden's room. It's in Caden's room. Yeah. Well, go check it. Go check what the monster. No, go check on the monster? You go check on the monster. I don't want to do that. What? What does the monster look like? You go, go check oh, it. Oh no, bro. I'm scared as hell. <laughs> oh god, no. What the fuck? I fired her. What? I fired her. I fired her. What do you mean? Now, obviously, it's spooky enough for your child to be playing hide and seek with his invisible monster friend. But when Jennifer uploads the video to TikTok, her loyal viewers hear something in the video that Jennifer didn't even notice. I heard that, bro. I already heard that sound, bro. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Jennifer and little Caleb are all alone in the house. But what sounds like a male voice can be heard. To me, it sounds like it could be saying, this is my place, or this is my house. <laughs> but every viewer who watches the video seems to hear something different. So 
Let me know what you hear. This is my house. You can right. watch Jennifer Lynn and her son Caleb's continuing story over on her TikTok page oh, at Vixie MCM XCII. Thanks so much for watching my post. Worst number one. That was the worst number one. I'm not joking, guys. That was the worst number one. Well, anyways, that's it for today. Oh my gosh, number two got me so scared, bro. Like number two was really scary. <laughs> That's it for today. Jason Biggs here. Just make sure you're out of the way. I'll see you all next time. Man, I'm going to show you guys. That's fucking crazy. I actually feel good. Like, for, I actually went to the run and shit like that. I'm like, damn. But, enough talk. Anyway, so, that's it for today. We're going to hit this outro. So, I just want y'all to say thank you for everything. Thank you for hitting me for now. Yeah.